if you're an aspiring data scientist, you probably have people tell you that you should do lots of personal projects, preferably with fancy machine learning names like NLP, deep learning, or neural networks, and stick them in your resume. That's how you showcase that you have data science and machine learning skills, they say. But do you know how many resumes there are out there that have projects like picking stocks using Python or Twitter sentiment analysis? A lot. Hey, I'm not saying that personal projects are not super fun and also really conducive to learning, but that's not how you make your resume stand out if you're looking for an internship or a job. What recruiters are looking for is past data science experience where you made an impact. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Tina, I'm literally doing a data science project because I don't have any data science experience. And yes, I get that the infinite loop of job and experience. Well, I have good news for you. I'm gonna tell you the best data science project when you don't have any experience that is unique, has impact, and doubles as a job. Coming up. If you're new here, hi, I'm Tina, and this is a new series called How to Land Your First Data Science Job. It was inspired by a really awesome conversation that I had with a subscriber called Chang, who's also starting off on her data science journey. So thanks so much, Chang. Okay, so best data science project. Research with a professor. I wrote it down for extra emphasis. Now I'm gonna tell you why it's the best data science project, how to use it strategically for your career, and how to get one. The truth is, as a data scientist, our value is measured by how much impact we have. Nobody really cares if you do lots of cool machine learning projects with fancy names, or if you learn lots of new things. It all comes down to impact. And that is where a research position under professor comes in. The professor already did the work for you of finding a unique project that has impact. I mean, why else would he or she be researching that subject if it didn't have any impact and wasn't unique? And just by the fact that you're working on a project under a professor at a university means that you get so many extra points in terms of meaningful work. And here's the part where you get to kill two birds with one stone. If you ever need a reference for grad school or maybe for your job, here is a very credible source from a person that actually knows you really well. Finally, this is not a guarantee, but if you're lucky, you might also get your name on a research paper. How cool is that? By the way, the advice that I'm giving now is not just random. It's literally what happened to me. The professor that I was working under eventually wrote my reference for grad school and my job reached out to contact him when I was recruiting. And I got a research paper out of it too. Plus, we've become good friends and we still chat to each other once in a while. And that is what I call getting more bang for your buck. Wow. Now, hopefully I convinced you that a research position under a professor is the best data science project and you're keen to get one. So let me tell you how. Quick pause. If you're enjoying this video, I want to learn more about data science, computer science, software engineering, and career advice about how to minimize effort and to maximize output. Consider liking this video and subscribing. Every like, comment, and subscription means so much to me and really motivates me to do more videos like these. So how do you get a research position? Well, I have more good news for you. If you're currently at a university, it's completely doable. You might just have to be a little creative or strategic about it. What I mean by that is say that your major is in computer science, math, stats, or data science. You should always look first in your department to see if there's any professors looking for research assistants. By the way, quick poll. What's your major? Let me know in the comments below. But don't worry if there's no professors in your department looking for research assistants. You really don't need to be working on the bleeding edge of machine learning research for your data science project to count. Here's my next biggest tip. Look outside your department, especially in biological sciences, econ, and business. From my experience, these professors are always down for cheap labor to analyze their data. Especially if you have a stats, math, computer science, or data science background, you're the perfect candidate. These professors will want you because it's so much easier to learn biology or econ or business on the job than computer science, math, or stats. My one word of advice though, make sure the professor actually does have a lot of data to analyze. I've noticed that some professors think they have a lot of data and you know they do in terms of their field of research, but for a data scientist, a few thousand rows is really nothing. You wanna be in a lab where you have a lot of data to analyze and to dig your hands into. So yeah. Reach out to professors within your department and then expand outwards. Email them and remember to personalize them so that you're not just copy pasting a bunch, a bunch of mass generic emails and sending it out. I've worked as a lab manager before and it's really obvious when people do that. Okay, so you've sent out a couple of emails and you haven't gotten a response back. Do you give up? 
No, send out 10, 20, 30, or even 40 emails and then follow up with them. I always say that you should minimize effort and to maximize outcome. But that doesn't mean to make the minimal amount of effort possible. It means that you should be smart about it and put in a disproportionate amount of effort into the things with the highest rewards, like this. If you do this, I'm really confident that you'll be able to get something. Then when you're actually working with them, do you make an effort to do a really good job. Also try to establish a friendly relationship with that professor. That's how you end up in a very fortunate situation of them actually asking you to do something for you to get your name on a paper. Also, they might even offer to write you a reference. Strategy aside though, I also personally always hold myself to the highest standard possible. Because in my opinion, if you're gonna do something, you might as well do a good job, right? Okay, in summary, personal projects are super fun and also really conducive to learning. But the best data science project for your career is a research position under a professor. You have a unique project that is full of impact and bonus points if you also get a reference and a paper out of it. Email professors both inside your department and outside for this opportunity. And general piece of advice, always hold yourself to the highest standard in whatever you decide to do. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to get a job or internship in data science with no experience, feel free to check out this series. I'll see you in the next video.